In this Power World video, I'm going to show you how you can breed some of the best and OP powers real early on. We start off with 405, easy to get powers, and we work our way up to some of the best powers in the game, both for base work and combat. So let's go guys. How's it going people? My name is DPJ and before we go any further, I'm giving away a couple of copies of Power World. To be in with a chance of winning one for yourself or a friend, simply drop a like on this video, leave a comment down below and make sure you are subbed. Good luck. So you guys seem to enjoy my first video in regards to breeding as I kept it simple and I did so because I wanted beginners to know and learn about said things in regards to breeding. This video is absolutely no different, we just take quicker paths to the best powers in the game and it's really easy to do once you get to around the level 20 where you can actually unlock that breeding pen and start this process. So once you're at a level 19 or 20 you are good to go here guys, so let's go. Okay, so we're going to start with the best non-legendary pal in the game, and that is Shadow Beak. What is the fastest way in you obtaining this pal? It's obviously through breeding, but there are quicker options you can do, so that's what we're going to get into. Okay, so what you first need to do is, is head to this part of the map right here, this bottom island. Here guys, you want to look out for Grizzbolt and Penking. Don't forget we are breeding, so make sure you know what you're looking for in regards to genders. You may need a male and female of both. But yes, you want a Grizzbolt from down here, and you also want a Penking. They both spawn in at around level 20, so you should be fine in getting these two. Remember guys, you can always circle this area, and once a pal comes out around the distance, it will rotate to a different pal, and you can use this technique to rotate pals if the one you're looking for isn't here. But yes, grab these two guys, and you are good. Grizzbolt and Penking are two of the four pals we need to catch and set up this process. Okay, so the other two guys are Relaxorus. This is an easy catch. They're spawning at around a level between an 18 and a 22. They can be found right here on the map. They are an easy catch though, guys. So you shouldn't have much of a problem here. And the last one, guys, I saved the hardest to last. Not really. You need to get yourself a Lambo. Once you get yourself a Lambo, the cute looking sheep that I found, throughout the entire start of this game just get yourself a couple of these male and female obviously and we are good to go guys okay so how are we going to start here so now you want to breed the Grizzbolt and the Lambo this will give you a Kitson the Kitson is very important now guys you need to breed the Grizzbolt and the Relaxorus this will give you an Ozark one of the best if not the best electricity powers in the game so Ozark is important too then guys you need to breed Grizzbolt an Ozark, yeah, I know it's kind of like incest here, but you gotta do what you gotta do to get these OP powers, guys. So, yes, breed Grizzbolt and Ozark. This will give you Astigan. Astigan is another amazing power, has a level four in that mining, the best in the game. And now, guys, you want to breed Kitson and Astigan. This will give you Shadow Beak. It really is as simple as that. You now, guys, have your very own Shadow Beak. Don't forget though, it does require a saddle to ride, which ain't unlocked until later on in the game. But you can still use it in battle people, it's still an absolute monster with one of the best attacks, if not the best attacks in the game. Okay, so now we're going to move on to Sweeper. Now if you don't know about Sweeper, Sweeper is unbelievable. Uh, so Sweeper, when paired with Sweeze, is kind of OP. But Sweeper himself, under the setup we already have with the powers we've caught, is an easy breed. Simply guys, breed together Relaxorus and Penking. This will give you that Sweeper. Now again, Sweeper, if you have him in your party as your main and you have that Saddle 4 in which you can unlock early. If you have a party full of Swedes, then he becomes super OP because they raise his attack and defense stats. So yes, keep this in mind. Sweeper is one many people have slept on. But he's definitely one of the best pals in the game you can get early on in the game. There's no two which ways about that. Okay, so next up guys, we have German Tide. German Tide is the only level 4 watering pal in this game. And to get him guys, we now breed Grizzbolt and Sweeper. Breed these two together and you now get German Tide. As simple as that. Now I've added in this optional extra for the higher level players who are around a level 40. I mean, this you can completely skip, it doesn't matter. But you want to go out and tame yourself a Blazemut. Now Blazemut are found top right island. They spawn in at around a level 40. They are a hard catch, I won't lie to you. The best spheres are needed. So if you ain't around a level 40, don't bother with this one. But if you are top right island, head up here for sure. Bring your best spheres and capture one of these. They are amazing pals, but they also are great for what we're going to do next. And that is we breed a Blazemot with a Shadow Beak or Astigan. So breed Blazemot and Shadow Beak or Blazemot and Astigan. What these will do is they will give you a Suzaku, which is an amazing kindling flyer, which you don't want to skip over. But it gets better here. You can now breed Suzaku 
and German tired, this will give you Suzaku Aqua, which is an exclusive power. This can only be bred via breeding German tired and Suzaku. There are no other combinations of powers you can use to get this this power. So yeah. Keep that in mind. Obviously, you can get it if you breed two Suzaku Aquas together. But other than this, guys, it's only German Tide and Suzaku, which should give you Suzaku Aqua. So, yes. But again, lower level players completely skip this part. Completely skip and pass over capturing Blazer Moss because it will be too difficult for you if you ain't anywhere near a level 40. Okay, so we'll now move on, guys, and back to the basics. If you now breed together German Tide and Kitsen, both you should already have, you'll get Anubis. Anubis is by far the best base working pal in the game, one you just do not want to skip over. You need this in your life, trust me. Now, the easiest way to get Anubis via breeding off the bat is capturing a Relaxorus and a Celery. These two together, if you breed them, will give you an Anubis combo. But as of right now and for this video guide, German Titan Kitson will give you another Anubis, so yeah, you're good here. Now guys, we're going to push on and go and tame another lower level pal in Rush R. You may have one of these already. They're all about the starting areas of the game. They're really low level and they're simple to get. So, tame one of these. Once you have one, guys, you want to breed it with Grisbolt. This will give you a Van Worm. Van Worms are a great flyers early on in the game too, so you don't want to miss out on this one. But... If you then breed Anubis and Van Worm, you get a Valorous, which is an amazing power exclusive to the higher leveled areas. These ain't seen until you get to around the level 40, 40 plus. So yeah, an easy way to get these guys. Okay, so we'll now move on to the Alpha Dren Aqua. So the Alpha Dren Aqua is an exclusive power that can only be bred via one combo of parents. Besides the obvious Alpha Dren Aqua and Alpha Dren Aqua will give you an Alpha Dren Aqua. But well, other than this, guys, there's only two other powers in the game, which if you breed together, you get this epic pal. So to start, guys, you want to breed together Anubis and Penking. This will give you an Alpha Dren. Simple as that. Then, guys, you want to breed Anubis and Alpha Dren. This will give you a Serpent. Now, if you breed the Alpha Dren and the Serpent, you get yourself the Alpha Dren Aqua. It really is as simple as that. So a little mixing and matching here, guys, will give you what an amazing pal you do not want to miss exclusive to one set of parents. Now, a few other combinations you can put together with the pals we have caught today and bred today. You can get yourself a Masanda and a Masanda Lux. To do this, guys, breed together the Grisbow and the Van Worm. This will give you that Masanda. Another combo of pals you have caught today you can use are German Tired and Serpent. This will also give you that Masanda. But if you breed together now, guys, the Grisbow and that Masanda Baby we not long had, you'll get yourself the Masanda Lux, an amazing pal you do not want to miss. Another power you can put together and get, guys, is Menesting. Now, if you breed together a Grisbolt and German Tide, Menesting will be the guarantee baby you have. Yes, another power, another epic power you won't come across until higher levels of the game. Okay, so we're going to get ourselves a War Sect, another amazing power you don't want to miss. But to do this, guys, firstly, you want to breed together German Tide and Van Worm. This will give you the One Pole Bolton, which is another power you don't want to skip over. I won't lie to you. But then, once you have that One Pole Bolton, breed that with the Grizz Bolt. This will then give you War Sect. Yes, it really is that simple, people. That's what you got to do. A few more powers you don't want to miss are Lilene and Lilene Nut. Now, to get these, it's pretty simple. Firstly, you want to breed Lambo and Penking, which is what we already have. This will give you a Verdash. Pretty cool. Then if you breed Anubis and Verdash, this will give you Patelia. Nice. Now, that Masanda we had earlier, if you breed that with Patelia, this will give you Lilene. Now, if you breed Lilene with Menesting, Menesting we made earlier, this will give you Lilene Nut. Powers you do not want to miss, people. Don't forget, Lilene is the only level 4 planting pal in this game. Pretty cool. Now, to end the video, I'm going to bring you guys a couple more pals, which are definitely needed in regards to breeding and other things. And they are Elizabeth. You can get this via breeding Ozerk and the Alpha Dren Aqua. This will give you a guaranteed Elizabeth. Or you can breed Penking and Ozerk. This will also give you a guaranteed Elizabeth. Elizabeth is another pal in the game that a lot of people find hard to get early on. But these simple combinations of powers we should already have will give you this amazing pal. Also, guys, there is King Packer. King Packer can also get via breeding Anubis and Phalaris. These two together, guys, guarantee you a King Packer. But yes, there we have it, guys. Quite a few more early game powers you can get via simply capturing 
easier paths towards the start of the game or roughly when you get to a level 20. So again, all you need for the entire video is to get yourself a Grisbolt, a Penking, a Relaxorus, a Lambo, a Rush Hall, and the optional extra is that Blazer Mott, which you don't actually need to do. But there we have it guys, for another ultimate guide on breeding OP pals early on in the game. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one. While you're here guys, you can also breed yourself a Rush Hall. These are also found real early on in the game. This is a power which we'll use later on in the video to carry on building and branching off onto our OP pal tree.